Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is my next Disney inspired series. This one is The Great Mouse Detective. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, so I based it off of The Great Mouse Detective himself. I will insert a picture, but I went with greens and browns because he wears a brown like overcoat, trench coat like thing. But then he has this green ascot as well. So, and I wanted to get some kind of pop of color in there. I didn't want to just do brown again. So I took the green and I made it my, okay, I guess it's not a pop of color. It's my main color, but still, I love how it turned out. I hope you do too. If you guys want to see how, get closer how I came up with this look, just keep watching. Okay, so let's get started with this tutorial. It's going to be pretty much greens and browns. And I feel like, again, but that's what he wears in the movie, is a brown suit and a green, what's it called? Not a tie. Um, ascot? Is that right? I don't know. One of you will correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure, right? Tell me down below. Is that right? Is it an ascot, the thingy? Anyway, so we are going to start with my big fluffy brush, like always, and in the crease, ooh, for our transition color, I think we're going to use, I think we're going to use the palette that I don't have with me, hold on. Okay, we're going to use um, the Naked Basics palette, oops, sorry, and for a transition color, I'm going to use this color right here, no sorry, this one right here, which is Naked too. the one that <laughs> I'm about to hit pan on here soon. Gonna have to get a replacement for it, but it's such a good transition color, like, I really love this color, you guys. Now to deepen up the crease a little bit. I'm going to take my smaller Elf Fluffy brush, and still in the Naked Basics palette, I'm going to use Faint right here, which is right next to it. Did you guys know that The Great Mouse Detective is, like, based off of Sherlock Holmes? Is that, like, the most obvious thing I've ever said on this channel? But seriously, like, if you watch the movie, he even lives in Sherlock Holmes's house. I think they show that. It's either at the very end or the very beginning. I can't remember. I want to say it's at the end. You see, like, Sherlock's shadow. Talking to the palette that <laughs> I've been dying to use because I can't get enough of it right now, you guys. Yeah. And that is my Vice 4 palette. I'm going to go in with Delete here in the bottom corner. And that's going to go into the outer V. Okay, hey guys, star of the show, this color that I've been dying to use. I thought this tutorial would be great for it with my pop of green. Is this needs to like bend back this green right here? Grasshopper. Yeah. It's so pretty. I'm pretty sure it's one of the ones that I swatched when I first got this and showed it to you guys. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm in love. I'm in love with the color. I'm blending. Okay, so off camera, you 
here's another drill. I'm gonna do my eyeliner and apply my lashes and I'll be back and we'll finish up the underneath on the eyes. Okay, so for eyelashes, I'm going to use, these are the Ardell uh, Demi 130s. Not actually the ones that I was originally going to use for this, but the other ones were um, Eyler, they were naturals, so thankfully they were not expensive. So and when I woke up this morning thinking I was going to use those lashes, there was only one lash, where last night there were two. So I'm kind of thinking a little fuzzball got a hold of them and took off with a pair. Or a lash, not a pair. One. Well, what's she gonna do, right? At least they're cute. The cat, not the lashes. Okay, so under the eyes, I'm just gonna take um, a little shader brush and I'm gonna go in with delete again and just line under my eyes real quick. And then I'm gonna take my little pencil brush and I'm actually going to go into um, Yeah, I'll, I'll just do Grasshopper. And I'm just going to take this fluffy brush with uh, Naked 2 again and blend out along the bottom of that. Highlight my inner corner. I'm going to clean off this little pencil brush and I'm going to use this guy again. And I'm actually going to use it in C Note here, which is right next to Grasshopper. It's just a lighter green. And we're going to put that on the inner corner. Okay, so for my look, I know, I got ready for work real quick. So for my look color, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild in Mink Brown. I love this brown, you guys. I feel like it's like the perfect brown. I don't know. I think it's amazing. So anyway, this is the look that I came up with for my Great Mouse Detective tutorial. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, like always, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!